Okay, people, so I'm looking at this news report, and you know what I'm saying? I mean, I, listen, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not taking up for uh, Mariah Carey, not by a long shot, because she has passed her soul to the fire of Moloch, and she is a satanic scumbag, so I'm not taking up for her. I'm not taking up for her staff members. But, you know what I'm saying, this is the truth station. You're only going to find the truth here, you know what I'm saying? If I'm not speaking the truth, then I'm not speaking. And when I dissected this news story about Mariah Carey's nanny is suing her for, you know, say, unpaid wages. It says unpaid wages. Now, pay attention, see, because they want to put it out in the media and, you know what I'm saying, they want you, probably want you to go against Mariah Carey, which, you know what I'm saying, I don't have no problem with you going against Mariah Carey, but if you go against Mariah Carey, go against Mariah Carey for the truth, and that's for a lie. See, when I go against against these satanic scumbags, I go against these satanic scumbags for the truth, not a lie. Now, I'm reading this news story, and it says her nanny is suing her for unpaid wages. W-A-G-E-S. Wages and salary is two different things. Salaries, you get paid, what, uh, bi-weekly, maybe monthly or something like that, or quarterly. Wages, you get paid weekly, right? You know what I'm saying? If you was to work at uh, Walgreens or CVS, those are wages you get paid. If you was to work at McDonald's or, you know what I'm saying, Checkers or any type of these fast food restaurants, those are wages. You ain't getting paid a salary. You're getting paid a wage. So, with all that being said, this woman says that back in 2017, She's been having, she haven't been getting paid her wages since 2017. So what this person that is suing Mariah Carey is telling me is that she was working for free ever since 2007. I mean 2017. And that's impossible. How can you not... You know what I'm saying? When the week is out, how can you not expect your paycheck? You know what I'm saying? I can understand, okay, boom, you know what I'm saying? You work one week, you didn't get your paycheck. You know what I'm saying? You give the people the benefit of the doubt. Second week, you don't get your paycheck. Damn. Now your bills is due. You got bills to pay. And you mean to tell me you ain't you wasn't looking for no paycheck? All this time? I mean, put yourself in a job that is not paying you, but yet you going, waking up and going to work every week, and you are not receiving a paycheck at the end of the every week. Put yourself in those shoes. What would you do? Would you wait two years later to say, oh, Mariah Carey is not paying me. She didn't pay me. I'm suing her for unpaid wages. Now, pay attention to what I'm telling you because the news report says wages, not salary. Now, I can see if the news report says salary because on a salary, some people get paid monthly on a salary. Some people get paid biweekly. Some people get paid quarterly or some people get paid yearly. On a salary, according to your contract. But when you got a wage, you are paid weekly. Or every two weeks. But nevertheless, you are paid by the week. So how many weeks went by before this nanny decided that come and come to her uh, her, um, understanding that she wasn't getting paid? It don't make sense. Is this some type of fake news that is coming out against Mariah Carey? 
as a part of um, not gonna, an humiliation ritual. Why? Because it's humiliating to be considered a legend, you know what I'm saying? Because Mariah Carey is considered an R&B legend, you know what I'm saying? She, she been in the game for a minute, you know what I'm saying? She got hits under her belt, you know what I'm saying? She got dedicated fans, so she considered a legend. So it is, um, it is a shameful thing for a so-called legend to go down in history of being able, being labeled a uh, non-payer. You know another person who's a non-payer? Birdman. Don't pay nobody on his staff. Uh, who else? Um, uh, P. Diddy. Don't pay nobody on his staff. So is this some type of humiliation ritual for Mariah Carey? Because it don't make sense. If I was working for Mariah Carey as a nanny, and at the end of the week, I don't receive my paycheck, I'm going to be like, wait a minute, I didn't get paid. I got to pay my rent. I got to pay my car insurance. I got to pay my car note. I got to pay my mortgage. I got to get my kids these trinkets and traggets. I got to get myself something. You got expenses, but yet... You are letting Mariah Carey get away with a year's worth of wages? Because, let me see. She said back in 2017. 17, 18, 19. So, when did you stop working for Mariah Carey? When did you up and decide that you, you know what I'm saying, okay, I'm not getting paid, I'm not working no more. When did you decide that you wasn't working for Mariah Carey no more? Because if I was working for McDonald's, and I worked a week, and McDonald's didn't pay me, oh, I'm not going to work that next week. Or I may give them the benefit of the doubt, and I may go to work that next week. But if I go two weeks without McDonald's paying me, I'm not going to work until I receive my two paychecks. So how long have you, this is the question to you, Miss Nanny, since you want to accuse people. How long have you been working for Mariah Carey without getting paid? How long? Oh, you just working for Mariah Carey because she's a star and you just want to be next to a star? What is it? I don't think this is even a real news story because it don't make sense. I think the elites put this up there as a humiliation ritual towards Mariah Carey of being a non-payer. But anyway, this is news. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Illuminati News Hour right here on Gospel Talk Radio. I'm your host. I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. And if you take out, take a look at our podcast every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, www.illuminatiexposedmedia.com. That's www.illuminatiexposedmedia.com on podcast every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Stay tuned. Till next time, God bless you.